joining us now. It is the Portsmouth manager, John Massino. John, good morning to you. How good are you morning, doing? Good morning, John. Morning, Natalie. Morning, Gabby. How are you? Very, very well. And delighted to have you on the show as well. I mean, this season, it's just been a bit of a dream, hasn't it, for Portsmouth? Yeah, I think it's gone a little bit better than than we expected. I think our ambitions at the start of the year were to finish in the top six and just try and uh, consolidate ourselves as a bit more of a promotion candidate than we have been in previous years. And yeah, things have gone pretty well. Uh, you know, we had a really good run of form in September and we've just sort of kicked on since then. And uh, even when we had a bit of a tricky patch over Christmas, we managed to get over it with a couple of signings in January. So, uh, yeah, it's um, it's been pretty good so far. Still plenty of um, plenty of games to go, but we're looking forward to it. John, um, we, we follow all, all the leagues, um, obviously, here at TalkSport. And, like, I'm fascinated every season by League One. I mean, you look at this season, I can name, I think I got it right, seven teams that I play Premier League football, and you look at teams like Portsmouth, and you're like Portsmouth should be shouldn't be in League One. You want to see them back in the Championship. You want to see them back in the Premier League. Look what it switched on last season and this season, fighting to get back into the Premier League. How important is it now, with the amount of points you've got um, ahead of Bolton, just get it over the line this season and get promoted? Yeah, it feels like that. It definitely feels like that at the moment with the position that we're in. And, and like you said, there's some some massive clubs in the league. Um, you know, Charlton have been battling against relegation for large parts of the season until Nathan Jones came in. So, yeah, there's some huge clubs. We're, we're sort of um, sitting above Derby, Bolton, Barnsley um, mm. at the minute. And it, yeah, it does feel at the moment like we, we've obviously put ourselves in a good position. And um, you know, we've just got to make sure that we get enough points over the next couple of weeks to, to try and push ourselves over the line. And, and the club has been now in league one for seven years and there's, there's a lot of frustration from, from the fans and everyone connected with the club, obviously. So um, it is, it is something there that weighs pretty heavy, I think on the, on the city as a whole. So um, yeah, a real priority obviously for us to try and get the job done. So how are you dealing with the expectations? Because as we say, you're, you're top of the league, you've been there in and amongst it for, for quite a while. Um, what is it? Seven games to go. You're taking on some of your rivals in this run in with Derby, Bolton, Barnsley to come as well. April certainly could be a defining month for you. So how are you managing it all? I think we're trying to get a nice balance between the two. So we don't want to sort of dumb things down and go, it's just another three points, although it is in some ways. We want to get slightly excited about the prospect, I think, of of promotion. And it seems like now's the right time to probably start talking about it. We've, we've deliberately not talked about it all season, but I mean, it does seem like it's it's a you know a real possibility now with the with the points gap that we've built up. And I think that can add motivation to to the lads going into the weekend. So I mean, just getting the right balance. We don't want to get too carried away because you know there there is just three points on offer tomorrow as well. Um, so I don't want to contradict myself, but yeah, probably a mixture of the two, making sure that we. Um, we do sort of grasp what is what is now pretty close for us. Does it show though as well, um, John, how these League One, League Two, Championship, like they're really tough leagues, the competition. I mean, Barnsley were doing well and they've gone through a bit of a rough time. Derby have been trying to get out of League One for so many years and get into the playoffs and then it not happening. Peterborough, it just shows, doesn't it, how like, if some teams that are, or this season will get relegated from the championship to League One, you're not guaranteed to come straight back up, are you? It's a tough, tough league. Yeah, and there's, there's loads of sides that have that have done it. Have been, I, I guess, for want of a better term, stuck in um, stuck in League One or mm. stuck in League for quite a number of years. Portsmouth, obviously, one of them. And um, throughout my career, I spent most of my time in League One and League Two. I've, I've played against some huge, huge clubs and sides like um, you know, sides like Sheffield Wednesday. Yes. Um, you know, um, Nottingham Forest dropping down and um, played against Leeds a few years ago. You, you wouldn't really have thought that. Um, you know, obviously, I mean, I started off my career with with um, with Natalie's side Brentford and we dropped down to League Two at one point. So, it, yeah, it does happen. And, and I think the more sides that now have got a bit of investment, push themselves into the top of the uh, the top of the table at the Championship, into the Premier League, it knocks some of the big boys down. And it's going to be the same next year as well particularly with three massive sides probably coming up from League Two with some big investments. So, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a difficult league to get out of. So when we're we're focusing fully on doing for the next seven weeks. I just remember playing against Portsmouth and like you're playing at Fratton Park and it was like fortress to play at. You know, like just a hard place to play against that that side with um, Sol Campbell in and it's always a tough place to go. Is that what you built this season as well? Like if you come into our yeah. place, you're in for a tough, tough game. Yeah, we've been trying to. So we, we sell out almost every week, which is, is an amazing thing as a head coach to have in terms of the fans backing us and um, the away following as well is is absolutely ridiculous. We took 4,000 to Peterborough the other day. But trying to get that atmosphere at Fratton Park, anyone that's played there, and I, I played there plenty of times as well. I know that when 
things are going well for the home side, it's it's almost impossible to play uh, as an away uh, as an away player, and sometimes vice versa. So we've got to make sure that we um, sort of protect against that and and make sure that the the sort of any any negativity wasn't there. And this season, to be honest, it's been absolutely brilliant from uh, from the very first home game. The the fans have been right behind us. Um, it helps that we've had the results, obviously, but we've had some really, really special atmospheres. And, you know, we've got the away game that we're focusing on tomorrow against Wickham, but then we've got a game under the lights on Tuesday night against Derby, which is just going to be absolutely massive. So, uh, yeah, an another big okay. one should be um, a good sellout and um, you know, a special one for the fans. Yeah, certainly. I mean, you're nine points clear of, of third place Bolton. We should stress that. So it, it is all looking good for Portsmouth to make that return to the championship. I just wanted to get a word on, on you as a manager and how you've taken to life as a manager just your thoughts on it how challenging really it's been it. really yeah i mean i've really enjoyed it it's been incredibly um stressful but in a good way I, I obviously knew what i was getting myself into and i think when you take on the reins at a club like this you've got to be prepared for for sort of everything the ups and the downs and everything in between um because yeah there's there is a massive expectation from the entire city that portsmouth shouldn't be in league one and um, i think that helps i think that helps to be honest but absolutely love the job it's brilliant working with the lads uh, day to day um, I uh, I don't particularly enjoy match days. I feel like <laughs> I've lost a bit of control and uh, and uh, yeah, get frustrated sometimes. But I think that's part of it because I was you know still a player. This I'm mean, still a player last year, still yeah. a player eighteen months ago. So um, yeah, lost a bit of that control. But um, it's been it's been really enjoyable. I know the results have obviously helped, but um, the the day to day of the job I, I really love. Have you have you um, any of your family members said to you that you've aged yet? Because <laughs> I, I remember Paul Lambert coming to Aston Villa. And you look fresh. Within like six months, you look like you aged about 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I, I've definitely got a few more greys. Um, <laughs> the stress, like, isn't it, of a manager? It's so, it's so stressful. Yeah, and it's 24-7 and it's as well. Mm. It doesn't matter, you know, for, for me, and I speak to plenty of other managers and head coaches, it doesn't matter what um, what they tell you about switching off. You might be a restaurant at night, um, grabbing a napkin and, and writing down <laughs> formation and, and jotting down your team for the weekend. It just happens all the time. It's just impossible to switch off. But I think that's what makes the job um, so good as well because it is exciting and there's something on everything that you do. Well, listen, John, we wish you the best of luck yes. for tomorrow's game and for the rest of the season as well. I appreciate you joining us this yeah. early Hope morning. Hope you get promoted, mate. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you very well much. Well done on the job you've been doing so far. Uh, Portsmouth then five points clear at the top of the uh, League One table, but crucially nine points clear of third place. But you see, like now, Bolton. though, it's like, it's like, get over the line. Performances Sorry. don't matter. That's it. It's like like you said, just get three points now. Yeah. Next game, Derby, get three points, and you're like, okay. Finally. Well, this is it because they still have to play Derby and Bolton exactly. and Barnsley yeah. who are in the playoff position. They they have that sort and of destiny Dar in their own and hands. And Derby and Bolton know that like for second place, they need to win as well. Mm -hmm. So there'll be tough games, but it's about winning at this stage of the season, not yeah. performances. Yeah. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from six a.m on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.